Hey everybody, the true Arceus here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke. Last time, we arrived here at Duford Town, went into the cave, and met Titania, a mysterious Lilligant who seemed to be associated with the fairies in some way. We caught her, and she was offering to teach Titan some of his origins and the mysteries of his titan fairy powers. But unfortunately for that plan, the very first fight she was in was up against a level 13 Ponyta, who seemed to have arena trap or something, because no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't switch her out, and she died. Our first death of the series, taken up by that frickin' Ponyta. So... Poor Titan doesn't get to know all of the secrets of who he once was, but maybe he did get a little bit of something from her before she passed on. But now that we took on Brawly, who also happened to be a part of Team Magma, by the way, shocker, as if everyone hasn't been so far. I can't even believe that, but... Now that he's out of the way, we can go back into the Granite Cave, where we caught Titania. I'm still upset about it, but we need to move on. We need to strive forth, Gudra, into bold new horizons. We can't let her death stand in our way. I am getting very sick and tired of this. Okay, wait. Now's my chance. If I try to switch, what does it say? I'm not going to switch to you. That would be suicide, but... Can't be switched out. Yep. That Ponyta had Arena Trap. Gotta, gotta get over it. Gotta move on. Those protect. <laughs> what? What is it? This Gudra learn bubble? That's... Funny. And adios, dragon. Dang it! Everything in this cave is mocking me. I was hoping I'd at least get a level up off of that. You know? Oh yeah, Titan got psychic. Good for him. It un <laughs> that whole ordeal unlocked his psychic powers from within. He at least got that. Because up until now, he's been fairly useless for the most part when it comes to his actual offensive capabilities, so... Something unlocked within him. Oh. Cryptic. Yeah, and unlike in the original game, you don't have to go through a whole cave to get through this nonsense. You just walk straight down. It's not much of a cave anymore, is it? Hey, Steve-O. Mm-hmm. So in the ancient world, their primal forms once held this much power. The super ancient Pokemon. What terrible strength. This appearance here, it seems somehow different from Mega Evolution. A little. Seems my questions will not be answered today. Hmm? Yeah! He turns around and punches us. You are? That's Carl to you. Mm-hmm. Now his interest in rare stones has become even more in-depth because of the existence of... Mega Stones and whatnot. Pulled it right out of the little back pocket of the of the pack, I suppose. Why, thank you. I mean, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> Someone had to die to get here, but don't worry. His favorite move, Steel Wing, which is... <laughs> it's okay, no one could learn it anyway. How anticlimactic. Cave drawings. Yes. Their powers are not terrible. I hope not. Bye. Now if you excuse me, I'm just going to confirm that no one can learn. Yeah, and I can <laughs> it says that he knows it. But nonetheless, no one can learn that. Hey, maybe we'll catch someone who can. I've got two open spaces. Because, yeah. 
uh, Dwebby does not count. Although, okay, here's the thing. I know you can. You can go up there, and then you can go into the other segments of the cave, but... We can't do that yet. Ah! Moving on! Get the heck out of this monster town. Can't stay here. <laughs> oh, my headphones are bothering me. I think they're not on tight enough. Yeah, they were not. That's... Uh, hold on. That's better. Come on, Pokemon Center lady. Heal us up faster. No. You can forgive Carl. He's under a lot of stress. Right, now we move on. All right, Briny. Take us where we need to be. Our chit? <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Take us to Route 109, near Slateport. Just... Yeah, it's basically Slateport. Mm-hmm. And this time... For some reason, you don't get to see him... Go? It's just a little cutscene. I know it takes a long time, but... Thanks for thinking of us that much. Hey, not in Slateport, Route 109. Yep. I'll do that. I have other matters to attend to first, but... Such as battling these trainers. What are you today? Oh, <laughs> a battle girl. You know, what the actual trainer class was, the person who took my Titania. Okay, I'm gonna have fun with this. Maybe a little more than I should. And you're an Arkan. Chega Conray had one of you in his black and white playthrough, but that doesn't matter to me. Ha, you fool! Shockwave can't miss! So you have just made a very poor decision. Even though you'd know that a lot earlier than I would have anticipated. Good. You know anything? Yes! Flame Charge! Getting that diversity! Okay, do I want Tail Whip or Sand Attack? Tail Whip is a weird thing to have because... Well, now you'll have at least a physical move. But Sand Attack can lower their accuracy and that's more useful. So, yeah. Lowering their accuracy sounds like a plan. The capacity to dodge their moves is nice. Don't you... Don't compliment me now. I'm still salty. But... All the same... Hey, kid. I should have switched first! And I'm definitely gonna have to go back to the... To the seashore house. <laughs> Beauty Ricky. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. We'll probably kill this thing in one fell swoop with our flame charge. Flame Charge is really nice. It's a good move to have. I don't know how you know it, but you do. And that was a really good timing on the crit. Flame Charge raises, it raises speed, but you're already pretty fast, so... It's usually better for slower things, but then again, it's weird that Pokémon that are slow don't ever learn moves that raise speed. It's always Pokémon who are already fast, so it defeats the purpose. Okay, Pyro. You're not at all close to evolving yet, but... Ooh! <laughs> Battle with me! Your music was pretty intense. Oh, you're a... Delinquent? I'm not familiar. <laughs> and another frickin' fossil. You're rock, so that's... Unruly, but... We'll be fine. I know you evolve into a Pokemon that has some of the highest uh, attack out there, I think, but all the same, you at this current level will be fine. You don't have like, oh, bide, whatever. <laughs> Waste of time. You'll be dead long before you use that. Even though damage variation allowed you one more turn, doesn't matter.
and whatever else. Slurring my words. <laughs> whatever else you have, we'll take it out just as easily. Driz! Oh, well, scratch that. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's okay, we'll take it out because we can just use Ember on it. Not really, but you know what we... Well, uh... Nah, Frickle, you, we haven't seen you in action in a little while. And this thing's quad weak, so... It's gonna go down in the flash. It wouldn't surprise me if you got it in one rollout. Well, it might surprise me a little bit, but... All the same. Don't get confused, Frickle. I know you have a problem with that. Get da! <laughs> Do ho right back at ya! And what do you have, Ultra Instinct or something? What's going on? Okay, yeah. I, I figured it wasn't going to, but it would have been nice. <laughs> You've overstayed your welcome, Butterfree. Oh, yeah, you did. Frickle has a bit of a short temper, it seems. Yeah, that she does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seeing this trainer class doing the burps and the herbs just seems funnier to me. I don't know, they're a delinquent. It, it fits. It fits good. Okay. There are other trainers for us to fight down here, and uh, I'll fight one of them. Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? Not exactly. <laughs> yeah, secret base trainer Lola, really a ninja boy. One of my favorite uh, character designs in this. Don't know why. Just feel that way. Ooh. Titan's ready to test out his new psychic capabilities! <laughs> I'm very hyped about it. Oh, you think you can poison him and get away with it? This isn't super effective, but... Oh! Curse you and your fairly high special defense, Meganium. And your below average special attack. High rope. Be good experience though once we take this thing out. Oh, you, why did you do that? He was already poisoned. What did you possibly hope to gain? Did you anticipate us switching out just because we did as little damage as we did? Maybe. But how would the AI be that smart? Growl. Whatever, dude. <laughs> Alright. No big deal. We're faster. So, goodbye. Yeah, Titan just can't hold his own against very many things unless they are unevolved or he has a type advantage. That's a problem for now, but... Uh, clear smog? Okay. A better poison type attack. For sure. It attacks by throwing a clump of special mud. That is not what I anticipated from a move called Clear Smog. All stat changes are returned to normal. So, yeah. I'll... Uh, in a similar fashion to getting rid of Tail Whip and keeping Sand Attack, I'll do this. Just for more type coverage. Type coverage is nice. Mommy! That's, yeah, that's still appropriate. You're still a kid. Alright, on to Slateport. I'll head back down there and fight some other trainers a little later, but... There's some things I wanted to do here. Slateport has a lot for us today. Oh, what? This is its own separate area? That's weird. Team's secret power. Oh, okay. I have to have secret power first. What the heck is this? An Alakazite? Is that normal? Uh, it has to be. I, I, I can't randomize that kind of thing. What do you guys got? Oh, you're Tyrogue! Oh, well, I'm trying. <laughs> Jeez. We're trying very hard. He lost someone very important to him. Yeah, I don't need any energy. You're just trying to get me to buy energy from that guy, aren't you? Eh, uh, no thanks. Um, are you the TM guy? This looks like it. Yeah, TM guy. What do we got? Scary face. Stun spore. Muddy water. And sunny day. 
This one was, uh, let's see if I can figure out what it originally was based on the description. While resisting, the user attacks the opposing Pokemon. That's Struggle Bug, right? Yeah, that's the that's, that's Struggle Bug. Can I teach Muddy Water to a Frickle? That's all I can afford, but it's all I want to afford. Use the launch of the weak jolt of electricity that paralyzes the target. Oh, and it just so happened to stay an electric type move. Okay. Eh, no thanks. Thank you for your patronage. <laughs> yes! Summon the torrent, Frickle! That's gonna be practically useless on you, but I still want it. I still want it, you know what I mean? Uh, do I want to get rid of Encore or withdraw? Encore can be nice if we if we can know they're going to use something and lock them into it. It's going to be hard because your speed is so low. If you are faster, then that would help, but you're not. And withdraw, your defense is already... It's already 97. Withdraw is almost unnecessary, so yeah. I mean, with 97 defense, nothing can touch you. There, now in case you need... A water type move. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Now, uh, here's the Pokemon fan club. Do one of you guys have what I'm looking for? Hello, good sir. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I, I see. Crying. Everyone keeps telling me that I need to race Titan more, and it's getting under my skin. But now, what am I looking for? That's right. Um, I heard tell that the name Raider was in town. Yeah, he is. And you know what I've been waiting for? Hello, kind sir. Hello, hello. I'm the official name Raider. I can more or less tell your Pokemon's fortune by its name. Ready to rate the nicknames of your Pokemon? Sure thing. You can rate Titans. I've got two poisoned party members right now. And alliteration. Hmm, Titan, is it? Picked quite a fine nickname, but I think we gave it something even better. What do you say? I say, where have you been all my playthrough? For you see, there is a name more befitting of our fairy wielding friend. Because someone gave us a good nickname in the comments of episode one. And I think now's the time to give it to him because you see, before Titania passed away, Titan moved in close. And with her dying breath, she uttered one word. Oberon. Mythological King of the Fairies. This is his true name. From now on, this Pokemon will be known as Oberon. You're right, that does seem to fit it better. Nicely done. Nicely done to you. I thanked you already for giving me the name, but thank you. You've assisted the lore wonderfully. For now, Titania's joining of the team was not in vain for she did grant him one piece of information that he so sorely desired his true name and with it the mysteries of the rest of his past will surely begin to unravel most assuredly all right so our options are as follows. Head back out, fight some more things on the beach, get us a few more levels maybe. I mean, I think we're doing pretty good level-wise. Maybe we'll go out and get Ixie on some. I mean, doing the soda pop thing is going to help just because soda pops are a cheap, useful way of restoring HP, and we don't have a lot of that at the moment. 
So, ooh, you really spruced things up in here, man. No. Let's see what you got. Oh! You just so happen to be a tuber there, Joanna. And you also have a scraggy. Uh, you're like dark fighting, right? My instincts look at Scraggy and think, oh, he's a ground type, because he's yellow, but that ain't the case. Shockwave's got that stab, so that's what I want to use. Okay, okay. Not too bad for a Scraggy. Ooh, you know what I want to do before we go and do the other stuff that we have to do in Slight Port? There is one route where we do have the option to catch a new Pokemon, so I'm gonna do that. For sure. Fiery Hot, thanks, whatever. And are you in on this? Whoop! <laughs> I threw a snow cone, man! <laughs> Why couldn't you take my snow cone? Said the Hex Maniac. Oh, Blair, that's uh. I already referenced Chugga Conroy's black and white playthrough once, so I think I'm good for now. Lots of little weak things. Still nothing we could have used Psychic on, though. Y'all are resilient! I can't believe Tickle is genuinely a move. Like, they go up and they tickle ya, and your attack and defense is lowered, which makes sense! If you're ticklish and someone's tickling ya, it might lower your guard. Although I tend to be the kind of person who, when I'm getting tickled, I just kind of start flailing. And people get punched, so... Kind of works the opposite. <laughs> it'd be like, it'd be funny if, like, based on nature, tickle could work backwards, but... That wouldn't be good for game design too much, would it? And Mawile, you're a fairy. For some reason, but... You're also part steel! Everyone thought they'd make you part dark? Nope. That would have been stab otherwise. And your part steel is going to save you from the sandstorm. But it won't matter in the end because you literally toast. You've proven quite useful, Ixion. Mm hmm. Oop, get out there. Of the frame. Where did you come from? Outside. Little Root. Little Root Prad. Okay, so... Everyone's level 19 now. Let's let Oberon... Head up and take on the delinquent! The burger would've taken forever. It's making me so totally crabby. Oh no, that's Elite Four. Are they after me again?! Ah, no! <laughs> Leave me alone, Dest... Nate? Drake, gosh dang it! Prepare for trouble! <laughs> and all you have is a Poochiena! Yeah, Poochiena. And hey, you can take it out, not with Psychic, but with your fairy abilities. Which I'm sure you're embracing. Yeah, you see, when it's something you're super effective against, he can handle it quite well. Stop trying to take Titan Oberon from us. I'm gonna have to run that through my brain. You know, these past five episodes I've been calling him Titan. Gosh, I'm starving. <laughs> we still have it. There's still two more Elite Four memories that we haven't seen, right? <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I bet one of you is gonna be Glacia. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon Ranger. Ooh, perfect! The excellent trial. Alright, Oberon. Show what happens when you mess with a king of fairies. He's brushed up on his history. I'm sure he can try to connect some dots as to why his name is Oberon. And why someone named Titania descended upon him. Offering to teach him about his past. But hey, it's something he's going to need evidence of. Oh no, Team Magma again? 
Me? Oh no! Not again! Why does this keep... How does this keep happening? I'm not setting this up, I mean... Great. May is in disguise. You are a ghost. Ghost grass. Uh, let's try faking you out, see how well that does. Not very well. Not something you can take on without it being super effective, so... Uh, Pyro, you're the perfect candidate. Trick or treat. Ooh, dear. Interesting move to use. It is now... Ghost type was added. Does that mean he's fire ghost, or does that mean he's just ghost? In any case, it doesn't really matter, because you're dead. <laughs> Thanks to the crits! The spirit of Edgelord lives on. Perhaps you were a disciple of his. Hey, you were both fire types, right? Electivire. That's a toughie. We don't really have anything to deal with that, do we? Electric's weak to exactly one type, so... And we don't have said type. So, we're gonna need ground, too. We're gonna need some coverage. We're, we're missing a lot of coverage with this team. Okay. Let's, uh... Figure you out by... Okay, low kick. Not... Not, not, not too bad, I guess, but... I'm gonna lower your special attack so that you can't nail us with any of your powerful electric type moves if you have any. Dish, dish Thundershock. Our special defense is slightly lower, so I'm, I'm just just making sure. This may not be doing much damage, but it will be of most use keeping you alive. It only does one now, but oh man, this is gonna suck. Oh yeah, it's really gonna suck. Do we have anything that can heal that? Uh, cherry berries. Cherry berries. Swift. Okay, that never misses, but it's really weak. One. Two. The three. Three. And that's how many hits it takes to get to the center of an Electivire. And to get a, a shuckled level 20. Oh, rest. Not a bad move to have on you, if I'm going to be honest. It, it's not. Um, now, wouldn't it be funny if I used Rest and Magic Bounce, moved the sleep to the opposing Pokemon? That'd be broken, and it is obviously not a thing. But it's it's not necessary in a single-player environment, when you know, when you can just heal them up on your own with items. And admittedly, yes, it is a full restore. Status afflictions aren't going to be a problem because you have magic bounce and it's really rare for you to be able to be afflicted. So I'm gonna give up on it for now. We don't really need it. And so long, May. <laughs> something was a hot battle. Except that loss, maybe. No. Sounds more like something Drake would have said. Oh! Oberon's trying to evolve. Well. Not on my watch, cowboy. Oh, Brown stopped evolving. That he did. Now, let's uh, let's try to find ourselves an Everstone as soon as possible. You guys can give me a two cents about the whole Oberon evolution thing, but I'm really feeling like I don't want him to evolve here. Um, did I not? I thought I did. I beat you, beat you, beat you, beat you. Did I beat you? Maybe. I mean, I don't... Yeah, I beat you. And I beat you. And I definitely beat you just now. Because you called me matey. I beat... I beat them all, dude. Hand over my soda. Oh, pfft. Oh, I just gotta talk to you twice? They didn't anticipate me talking to him first after I'd beaten everybody. Half a dozen bottles of soda. Six of them. Most appreciated. Yeah, because soda is medicine, kids. Drink up. Yep. And unfortunately, you can still only buy one at a time. Because it'd be broken otherwise, you know? Because you could just sit here and just buy a bajillion of them. But I still... Yeah, I'll buy another one. Why not? 
It'll benefit us nicely. But, okay, now that that nonsense is out of the way in the slate port. Let's catch ourselves a new team member. Who's ready? I know I am. I'm going to heal first, though. Expect the unexpected. You never know what we might see out here. It could be a legendary or a mega evolution or something. I don't know. It's entirely possible. I would want Ixion up front just because paralysis. It's lagging a little bit. It is lagging a little bit. Weird. Oh, meow stick. Oh shoot. I've already got psychic covered, meow stick. But fine. I'll catch you just to fill the void, I guess. Alright. I've never been too familiar with you as a Pokemon. And is it Meow Stick? Isn't that Gen Six? Or is it five? Wow, I feel bad for not knowing, but. <laughs> Let's see, this probably won't kill you because it's not stab or anything. No, yeah, I didn't. I can't hit you again, though, because the sandstream. The sandstrom is going to get in the way of that. I'll just start chucking some balls, see how well that goes. Alrighty. Un. Dos. Tres! Oh, dude, does that method always work? <laughs> First freaking ball! Like you can't, you can't beat that. Maybe I have high hopes for you yet, Meow Stick. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Okay, what do I want to call you? I mean, oh man, I've got no precedent for nicknames. Hey, we're right in the town where we can give nicknames to Pokemon again. So, if you guys have any nicknames from Meow Stick, let me know. In the meantime, I'll just think of something stupid. As I said, I'm just going to give it something stupid. <laughs> and if I, if you guys don't have suggestions, then I'll just leave it as something stupid. <laughs> but... Wait. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your item is metronome. Why is it lagging on this screen? That's really weird. <laughs> oh, Citra, you are not an efficient emulator yet, but... Reckless. It powers up moves that have recoil. That sucks for you, but... I forgot Metronome was also an item. Initially, but... What does it do? Because I, I saw that. I thought it was a glitch because Metronome is also a move. But... It, uh... I don't know, but Pokemon boost moves used consecutively. But only until a different move is used. Well, duh. That's what it means, right? So if I use the same move over and over, it can make it stronger. Okay, okay, okay. So something that you use hitting things over and over would be it would be useful for like Dwebby's uh, uh, his uh, Fury Cutter, her Fury Cutter. I'll just throw it on you, Ixion, in case I use uh, a move over and over again on you. But yeah, that didn't go exactly according to plan, but it went somewhere. And that's all that matters, right? But, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, we haven't gotten an extreme amount done, and yet this has been a fairly long video, so... Hey, we did get one very important thing done today. We renamed Titan to Oberon, so that's... That's what matters to me. But, yeah. So before... I call it, let's just uh, head to the shipyard and see about the part. Oh, they just have a cutscene here now. I swear. I forgot so many of the details of this game because I only played through this one once, but... Hey, I got that thing you're looking for. Doc. <sighs> yeah, this is heavy, Doc. Won't do. I guess Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic Museum again, shirking from his work, I see. Yes, he wants us to go to the museum to give the captain the parts. But that's something we're going to be doing next time on Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke. 
You see the line of people from Team Magma is now no more. So yeah, next time, we'll head into this museum and see why there was a line of people from Team Magma waiting at the entrance. Hmm, <laughs> our old foes are finally going to step back in again. Who knows what they'll become, though. One of them turns into May. I'm losing it, but... <laughs> okay, yeah. Not the most eventful episode, progression-wise, but... Big things happened. We did catch New Kitty Boy. Yeah. Give me a better name, please. And we now have Oberon. He tried to evolve, too. So, as soon as we get the Everstone, I can keep that from happening every level up. Unless he just totally rejects his fairy side and goes for something else, but... Nah, 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 nah. Thinking about it, thinking about it. But, mm-hmm. Thank you for watching. Like and comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on more Pokemon Omega Ruby Randomizer Nuzlocke. Because I truly hope you guys had a good time. Catch you tomorrow for the next exciting episode. But until then, I will see... You guys, oh, later!